Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're going to look at uh, the collection and structural types. So I have a new folder down below, uh, just in case we need to define some things. So I'm going to go here and just call this main.tf. And we are just going to configure this for local Terraform. So we'll just give the brackets there. And so the idea is that um, we might have different kinds of variables. And we had done this previously where we created um, a list and a map, but we can do that again. So we'll have like planet, right? So that's list, and then we just default that to a value, Mars, Earth, Moon. And then we could also have, you know, plans here, and that would be our map type. Okay, and so here we'll just set it The curlies, plan A, plan B, plan C, Um, so we'll do Terraform console. And so that should load uh, these variables for us to use. And so if I do var.plans, I get that. And if I do var.planets, uh, didn't like what I did there. Input variable has not been declared. I suppose it's just planet there. So I should have named that planets up here. And so what we're gonna do here is just go ahead and exit. Type clear. I'm just going to expand this a bit bigger so we're taking over more of the screen. And let's take a look at structural types. So these require you to actually define um, parameters. So what I'm going to do is go down below and we're going to do the object. And object is very similar to the map. So we'll just go down here. Plans object. And so here what we do is we'd say type object and we would just have to define some settings here um, so we could say a is a string all right we'll see if that works Default value is not compatible with the variable type constraint attribute A is required. So that's fine. Um, what we could do is just define this as like plan A, plan B, plan C. And now if we just do var plans object, when you are using this, you know, you might want to specify some different kinds here. So you could just say like, you could say like plan here. So we say plan name, plan amount. Maybe it's like number. And so then we'd say plan name, plan amount, basic. Maybe this would be 10. Okay, and we'll just uh, type exit here and go back into Terraform Cloud. Hopefully we don't get an error here. So the plan amount is required. So, you know, we can't have a spelling mistake here. We'll just do var plan here. Um, well, we named it correctly there. And when we went up here and specified it, I think we got it right, plan object. So, sure what it doesn't like here. Oh, you know what? We're not in Terraform Cloud. Okay, that's fair. And we're still spelling this wrong. Whoops. Okay, so there we go. We got our basic plan. Um, and then we could do a tuple here. So. I don't know if I've ever defined a tuple before, so let's just try it here. And so we'll just say uh, groceries or value or random. Just 
type equals tuple. I'm just looking up if there's any kind of definition I can find here. I'm not really finding anything, but I'm just going to go uh, define this here because I thought maybe it needed like a schema or something, but maybe it doesn't. So we'll just say hello 22 false. Okay. Terraform console. Duple constructor requires one argument specifying the element types as a list. Okay. So if that's the case, then what we could do is say string number boolean. The uh, type constructor requires one argument specifying the uh, number of elements. So clearly I'm doing this wrong. So just give me a second. I'll be back in a moment. Okay. All right. So I think the problem here was just that I need to make brackets here like this. We'll give that a go. Boolean is not a valid option. What if we try bool? Okay. We say var.random. Good. And so I'll just go ahead and exit that out. I'm just going to see what happens if I change the order here. So let's say I do instead of 22 here, we go here. Okay, and so notice that, you know, we can have all sorts of kinds, but they have to match exactly the order that is there. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. So there you go.